Hello everyone. Today we will be uh, seeing the control chart in the time series visualization. We have earlier checked on the sparkline charts and the slope charts using uh, Tableau. Let's, uh, if you have not checked it, please click on the link about to see how to create sparkline charts and slope charts using Tableau. So now coming back to control charts. So control chart is used to study how a process changes over a period of time. Say, let's take in a manufacturing industry. Uh, I want to, uh, there is a product that's being developed and I want to see how this product has uh, actually passed, how, how many defects this project product has. Say, and uh, if my defects, so it's very difficult to get like 100% all the time. So if my defects are between this range, then I still call it as an acceptable range and my product is passed. Uh, so each uh, company has their own uh, way of calculating the deviation. So they might go for a three sigma level or uh, they may just to a simple standard deviation. Here we are going to see how to calculate the standard deviation and uh, create the control chart using Tableau. So some of the things that we need to see here are the average. Average is nothing but the average of all the values in your data set. And then we are also going to do a standard deviation. So standard deviation we are going to say, so using the, the standard deviation is like the deviation of the data set from your mean. It is uh, actually calculated by using the square root of variance. So the, it helps us to the, find out the upper control limit and the lower control limit. The ac ac upper control limit is the highest level of acceptable deviation from the mean. Beyond the UCLs, the values are considered as um, like uh, out of limit. Same way, be, uh, below the LCL, the values are considered as out of limit. So let's go ahead and start creating the control chart. So th uh, this is our data that we will be using for our control charts today. So we have a time series and we have uh, two different uh, defects from two different uh, machines, machine one and machine two. And uh, we will see how the control charts work. So here we have uh, just created one, have one machine with like a normal um, di distribution and the other one has like anomalies. Let's see uh, what happens when we create a control chart. So I have opened Tableau here and I am going to import the data that we just saw, which has the time and also we also, also has the defects from machine one and machine two. Let's go to the worksheet. So we have the date here and we also have the defects. So let us uh, let me move the date into my columns. I want to have a continuous values. So I'm just going to call, use the continuous here, month. And then I'm also going to pull the defects into my uh, rows, which is the six. So this gives my first base chart. The thing that we need to do is to calculate the average. So let me go ahead and calculate the average here. So this, which is very simple, we just have to create a reference line and move it into the table. So here, I, since I'm doing a continuous, I'm not going to say per pane, like uh, we cannot do a per pane because we have kept our uh, time series as continuous. So I'm just going to go and calculate the defects for the continuous set of data. So here I'm going to save um, for the entire table, the I'm just going to give the value so we can just see how the value looks like, but you may not have to want to do that in the actual scenario. And I'm just going to give a color and uh, so this is our average. So then the next thing that we need to do, so we have calculated the average, then now we need to see how much it is deviated from the, how, how much deviation we are going to do from the uh, mean. So here in, in our example, I'm just going to do a two sigma. Let's see how to calculate the two sigma. So the next thing is to create a, a calculated field. I'm going to call it as the upper control limit and the lower control limit for machine one. So which is nothing but the uh, window. So if you take, if you want to calculate the upper control limit, then you just do the window sum of the defects. So we want, we are, this is the actual calculation for the standard deviation where we are going to say the sum of window stand, standard deviation of, so if I put standard deviation P, it is for the whole population. So I'm get, taking the whole standard, de, standard deviation P in my calculations to get the value. And um, since I've checked this works well, I'm just going, going to use the standard deviation P and I'm going to use the sum of defects. And uh, uh, we are going to say this is above my uh, average. So this has to be above the average. So I'm doing a sum of my uh, mean. So the mean plus whatever the standard deviation is, is going to be my upper um, control limit. Since I do want to do, so this is my sigma. Since I want to do a two sigma, I'm going to say two into 
the standard deviation this will give me the upper control limit so to calculate the lower control limit which is pretty simple i'm just going to duplicate this i'm going to duplicate this and rename it as lower control limit for machine one and this is just going to be the minus from the standard so we are going to calculate a two, two sigma and then we are going to minus that from the actual mean so this is going to be my uh, lower control limit value so we have calculated the average next we need to calculate our upper and lower control limits and we have uh, created the values also uh, let's also create uh, move these values into the detail because we need them to set our upper and lower control limits now let's go into the analytics and call in the reference band and then I'm going to say um, it is uh, it is many whichever is minimum from the the band starts from the lower control limit the minimum and the uh, and it goes till the upper control limit maximum I'm just going to show the values here just for the purpose I'm going to give it as a line and let's make make it as red and then uh, let's fill in none so these are my upper and the lower control limits so this is our ch first basic chart of a machine a so now uh, if you want to make it more colorful and want to show the exact points so we can again uh, create we, get, we have to create a dual axis chart just uh, pull it pull the sum of defects so this gives us a dual axis chart let's call it as just change it into dual axis and then let's uh, synchronize the axis now um, this is pretty simple so what we are going to say we let's remove the upper and the lower control limits from here and then give it as a circle so these are going to give me the points but uh, if we want to make this uh, points more uh, uh, meaningful then let's go ahead and create uh, another calculated field called as um, should i call it as uh, in outliers creating a uh, column called as outliers and i'm going to give the formula like this so if the defects is greater than the upper upper control limit or if the defects is lesser than the uh, lower control limit then we're going to call it as out of control or if they're just going to call it as in control so let's move this value into our colors let's go and edit the colors and give it green so it just shows everything is within the um, within the limits but this just gives us everything within the limit so we are not able to see what happens if it's outside the limit so we are going to calculate the same thing for the machine 2 since we have already done for the machine 2 i'm just going to um, go ahead and uh, do it pretty fast uh, let us call so let us call it as control chart for normal operation Increase the size. Let's also uh, change the axis and call it an effects. Okay. The title. So this is um okay. Let's remove the header on the right. Hand. Yeah, so we are done with the control chart for a normal operation. Uh, the next one is this similar one. So I'm just going to go ahead and create it, and I will show you like how it's how it is. And because it's the same one, I'm not going to go through the whole process for you again. We are just using a different data point instead of uh, uh, taking the defects for machine one. We use everything from machine two. So let's go ahead, and I will show you what happens.
so i have gone ahead and created the same thing for a uh, different data points uh, if you go into the data source we had two different data points one is for machine one and machine two so i went ahead and created the whole thing for machine two like um just to show so here we are i just created um lower control limit for machine to upper control limit for machine to an outliers for machine to since machine to has some outliers which is like out of control we have two different uh, we have a couple of points which is outside our standard deviation here also we just used two sigma and the other points are within the standard uh, within the range uh, this is how you go ahead and create a control chart so if you want to see it on a dashboard uh, let's go ahead and create a dashboard let's call um, and let's do the automatic and then uh, let's call machine one and machine two can remove this because yeah now we are all so this shows the control charts for two different data points uh, you can go and explore more on control charts in our next uh, in our next video we will see another kind of time series analysis thank you